Well, for more, financial columnist from Delhi Sabah, Taha Arvas, joins me now live in the studio. Thanks so much for coming in. You know, just going back, there was actually time when it looked like this project may even be abandoned because of the Russian jet that was right. uh, shot down on the Turkish border. But today, all tension has faded, and we have this massive collaboration complete. That's true. I mean, mm. I think it's been smooth sailing between Russia and Turkey for a while. I think after the Obama administration, uh, Turkey was looking for support elsewhere, and Russia kind of fit that role. So I think this is going to be a project that will help both Turkey and Russia and Europe ultimately um, because of the U.S. vacuum, I think, that was left mm. in the end of the Obama administration. I don't mean to sound cynical. I'm just asking this question because there are almost always some geopolitical risks to projects, risks, uh, to projects like this because of the borders they cross. Uh, do you think there are any potential risks with this pipeline, or do you think this cooperation is so important that it can uh, overcome whatever? No, I think, I think uh, nothing's lost in, in, that, um, in that respect. I think there, is, there are definitely risks, mm -hmm. uh, but Turkey has to look at this as a way to diversify its energy sources. So um, this pipeline passes through no other borders, so it's only between Russia and Turkey. So Turkey has really the keys in its hand here um, if it wants to continue to uh, bring in uh, natural gas from Russia, and that pipeline has been funded by the Russians. So Turkey ha has a very strong position here in that uh, it plays, it will play a very strategic role in the um, movement of, ener of energy from of gas from Russia to Europe. Now, this isn't just a project bringing gas to Turkey. This will also help right. out Europe, uh, a larger Europe. So suddenly Turkey has been a, become a, a player, and has Istanbul itself has become an energy hub which is a great position for Turkey to be in economically. Right. Uh, tell us, though, about economically, how much this actually means for Turkey. What kind of boost are we looking at? Um, uh, it's too early to tell as far as numbers. I mean, we're, they're talking about billions of cubic meters of, of gas coming in. Um, there's, economically, the answer will come about as far as politics play out. Uh, en energy has, is currently being imported from Turkey from many other places, including Iran including Azerbaijan, mm. um, and natural Turkey doesn't have natural gas or has very little natural gas, right. so it has to import it. So the only choice it has, the, the natural choices would be Russia, Azerbaijan, which are, they have a pipeline working. Um, so as long, it, it allows it to have choices. Yeah. It's no longer uh, forced to buy from one place. Great. Taha, we will leave it there for now. Great. Thanks so much for that.